You kind of, uh, <laughs> do you, uh, so you're five foot five, right? So yeah, you, I'm you kind of wear, <laughs> You kind of wear that as a badge of honor. Yeah, yeah, I wear it proudly, man. I've been short my whole life, and obviously, and, and I, I did it throughout my wrestling career, and, and I wrestled the best guys in the world. I wrestled monsters. I've wrestled six foot two, six foot three monsters, right? So, uh, I don't care about your height, and, and, you know, when you really think about it, you know, we're talking about inches, right? We're talking about this dude was seven inches, with eight inches taller than me. I mean, this is seven, eight inches, right? Like, we're talking about inches? I mean, that means shit to me, you know? And what people don't understand is that I'm broad, I'm strong, and I'm fast. And, um, you know, I got a lot to get better at. Um, but I, I'm not I'm not worried about these dude's size one bit at all. You, you obviously have a strong wrestling background, but you showed some... Uh, Flashing good boxing skill. Though. Yeah, um, obviously the first thing you learn, you know, when you, when you start transitioning over MMA is some boxing. And I kind of always had like some nice natural hands and I tighten them up and I could definitely still tighten them up some more. So, um, I, you know, I tell everybody I'm happy with tonight and I'm happy I won and, and, and it was a war and I need that in my experience, but I'm just going to get better and tired. There's so, so many things I can get better at. So uh, I'm just excited for the future, bro. So, Duran, obviously, congratulations, great win. Thanks. How do you rate your performance? Did you UFC debut? How did everything feel out there? The same kind of uh, what you're expecting? I different? mean, I give myself a six. You know, um, it, it was it was everything I needed in experience wise. But you know, I was sloppy. I left my hands down in a lot of places. I rested in the clinch. Um, I, I, I'm not in as good a shape as I could be, and I thought I, I thought I pushed really hard this camp, but it can always be better. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm happy. Obviously, you can be happy with the win. And, and you can, you know, I think people are lame that are down on themselves uh, with a, when you get like a sloppy win or whatever. But, dude, I trimmed my ass off for the last eight weeks for this. And I'm not apologizing to nobody, you know. So, uh, and at the end of the day, as I, I always tell people, it's like people can cheer for you and say, I'm here for you every step of the way. But, like, you ain't here for me every step of the way. I'm the one stepping in there and finding somebody, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, it was a low, low performance. You know, I wanted to go out there and get the finish, obviously, but I'm okay with the W. Uh, I'm happy to take that W back to California for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, do you have any kind of insight on why you maybe felt a little flat out there? Was it something about your debut? Or, I mean, um, you had a lot of opponent changes as well. Could that have played a factor? Um, it, it, did, it didn't. Um, you know, I think at the American Kickboxing Academy, we train a little differently. And, and, and we, we train with with uh, kind of, I want to implement my game plan, not not change to their game plan, right? So um, I I was, I don't know if it was just my debut because I fought in big cars and I, I've wrestled in front of a lot of people, um, but I did feel a little flat. Um, even my pop and I didn't want to tell Kane because, uh, you know, I work with Kane the most with my movement and stuff and, and I didn't want to tell him when we were warming up. This morning I felt great. I ate and, and it might have been just stuff I ate as stupid it is uh, you know you go for eight weeks without eating certain type of things and then things digest differently in your body and stuff and you move a little different so I ate a lot more carbs today and yesterday than I have in the last six weeks so it might have been that but I don't want to make any excuses that dude took the fight on a week right and I, I didn't think he could make it three rounds like that but he did so I, I don't want to make excuses but I did feel a little flat and I and I think that the next time I fight uh, it'll be a much better version of, of myself. You mentioned your wrestling. Obviously, you have a kind of storied wrestling background. Didn't see a lot of a lot of that out there tonight. Was that a strategy on you? Did you want to work the hands a lot more? Um, yeah, I thought I could knock him out. Uh, I thought I was quicker than him, and I, I thought I had power. I know. I thought I was going to put him to sleep. Um, um, but but I, I told somebody earlier is um, uh, he's a high level jujitsu guy, and I'm a very high level wrestler, and, and I've learned to transition into grappling and. And uh, a lot of times when you see high level grappling, um, there's a lot of 50 50 stalemates, yeah. right? And I didn't want to get there and get caught in the guard. And, and you know, I want to be an entertainer. Um, I'm here to get paid, bro. Like, obviously, I want to be the champion, but I want to make money. So I don't want to be this dude that's like holding people down and, you know, they call it like dry humping or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, you know, I want I want to I want to make entertaining, entertaining fights. So I knew that if I just took this dude down, I'm stuck in a guillotine for two minutes and I'm trying to get out of the guillotine. You know, just, just know where I want to be and I don't think he wants to be there either. But I, I wanted to try to drag him into deep waters. Um, that's what we trained the most, uh, training with Kane and DC. And there was a couple of times I thought I could get him. I thought I, he was well, he was, you know, wilting. And I thought I, you know, I changed up my game plan and stuff like that. But uh, um, I thought I thought I was going to finish him. And he, he never felt, and all he did was 
get back up and or I never dropped him, but he always just came back and took a hard swing at me and it's hard stepping forward. So more props to him, man. Two things left for me. One, I don't know if you had a chance to see but Dana White, UFC president, kind of got on Twitter and, and gave you a shout out for your performance and Eric Spicer as well. Are, are you feeling like maybe you're going to get that that performance of the night? That yeah, I, night I, I, I don't want to. I'm more of a, um, uh, yeah, I t- tell my buddies, I'm a, um, I'm more of a believe it when I see a guy. You know what I mean? Like you have to um, uh, prove me right, not wrong. You know what I mean? Um, so, so we'll see. I, I, I think that I, I'm definitely in a front running, and I saw somewhere that I set a record of the most significant strikes to uh, yeah. in a middleweight division history. And in the UFC debut. And in the UFC debut. Montano, but she was in a five round fight. Oh really? Yeah. So. Yeah. So those are all promising things, and especially with like you know just the small hype behind my name. You know, I know there's a lot of haters, and people don't want to see me see me succeed and stuff like that. So I just wanted to, I'm glad that I can show people that I'm ready to scrap. And, and however, however the fight goes, I'm ready to deal with whatever come, gets thrown at me, you know? Last thing we for me. My roommate, that's my roommate. Watch my dude. Last thing for me here. Uh, you mentioned kind of in the lead up to this that a lot of guys turned you down for your UFC debut. Mm-hmm. You've made your debut. Got a big win. Looked fantastic. You're kind of in the driver's seat now. Is anyone you're, you're interested uh, in? Uh, I'll fight any of these bums, honestly. And not, then here's where I talk, start talking shit because people want to hit on me and tell me I'm too short and, and say they don't want to fight me and shit, but you don't know how many people turn me down behind the scenes and dudes who think they're good or tough or whatever. Uh, these dudes suck, man. And and, and I'm going to show them and I want to get right back out there. They gave me a little suspension, but but I'm going to give them this healed up and I want to get back out there and I'll fight any of these dudes, man. So, um, and, and I think a lot of them now too, which is it's good for me is they'll see all, all the holes in my game. Right, so they're like, "Oh, I can do this to him, this to him." But then when they get out there, they'll feel they'll feel what the fuck is coming. You know what I'm saying? Thanks so much. Perfect.